Welcome back. Section Volleyball will start with the Section 1 AA quarterfinals. Kentucky commit Aaron Lamb in street clothes as top seeded Stewartville took on four seed PEM. First set, set point for the number one team in the state. Lily Welch rises up and puts it away. Tigers take the opening set 25-15. Second set, Tigers up 24-3, dominating still. It's Allie Elliott with the serve. It's too good for the Bulldogs as Stewartville advances to the section semis on Thursday with a 3-0 win over PEM. They'll face two-seed Lake City for the subsection championship in the Civic Arena on Halloween night at 7.30. Stewartville swept Lake City earlier this season. In the West subsection, top seeded and fourth ranked Cass and Manorville taking on five seed Triton. We'll get it going first set. The Comets, they were rolling. Maya Seuss blasts that one to the corner. KM with an early lead. Later though, the Cobra is looking to get back in it. Chloe Staub comes up with the kill for Triton. Cobras would take a set in this one, but the better team prevailed. Noel Van Ort put that one away as Casson Manorville advances to the subsection West Championship with a 3-1 win over Triton. They'll face two-seed Cannon Falls for the 1AA West subsection title. Cam and the Bombers met a week and a half ago. Comets won that one 3-1. Now down to Class A, four-seed Fillmore Central going for the upset over the number six team in the state. Lonnie Cork, uh, Morkins, Mabel Canton Cougars, second set. The Cougars Start out hot. Peyton Danielson is there on the outside for the kill. Later, though, Fillmore Central sticking with the Cougs. This is Candace Sickink with the put away for the Falcons, but it would not be enough. Check out the placement on this ball from Molly Lee. Not a Falcon in sight. Mabel Canton rolls to the section semifinals with a 3 0 win over Fillmore Central. They'll play two seed Caledonia in the East. Subsection championship Thursday after the Warriors beat Wabasha Kellogg 3-1. Now we head out to the 1A West bracket. Top seeded and eighth ranked Kenyon Wanamingo taking on four seed Goodhue. First set, Goodhue came out with some momentum. Nice poke to the back corner here from Jocelyn Carlson. But later the Knights return the favor. It's Juliana Boyum. Ooh, with a big kill. Nothing the Wildcats could do about that. Still later, the Knights had it rolling. This time it's Allie Peterson slamming one up the line for KW as the eighth-ranked Knights advance to the subsection title game with a four-set win over Goodhue. They'll face the second-seeded Tigers of Medford for the 1A West subsection title. Medford is ranked seventh in the state, so a good matchup between the two. Next, we head up Broadway for the girls' Big Nine Swimming Championships, a packed House at the rec center. We will start with the 200 yard medley relay. There were four heats of this event, and the fastest team was Red Wings Grace O'Brien, Sammy Kreese, Cecilia DeYoung, and Tegan Byers. They won with a time of 151.81 century, finished second, just 12 hundredths of a second behind. Next to the 200 freestyle, there were six heats of this event. No one in the pool is faster in this one than Faribault's Abby Larson. She finished nearly two seconds ahead of second place. Katie Hami of Century, there were no final results submitted from this meet. Hey Mark, St. Mary's Ooh. women's and men's hockey teams hosted the inaugural Cardinal Hockey Icebreaker, a day-long fan fest filled with hockey. The women played Northland College in the afternoon and St. Mary's absolutely peppered the Lumberjill goalie in the first period. Natalie Ryan with multiple opportunities. Now watchers kind of stick around with the play. Watch this, on her third chance, She's going to cash in with the wrister. There it is. She had a pair of goals. The Cardinals with 45, 44 shots on goal, and they get the victory. That was more five. than pepper. I know. That. <laughs> there were 23 shots. I was there the first period. They had 23 shots in the in the first period. But 23 the, shots and one goal. The Northland goalie yeah. was uh, standing Putting on her head. Putting a full eight hours. Yeah. Hey, more <laughs> section football highlights to come from Grand Meadow, Lewiston, and Rushford. That's coming up next. And the Winona State Warriors continue their battle for a spot in the postseason this afternoon, welcoming St. Cloud State to the max. Sports Extra rolls on after this timeout.